I'm going to show you how to connect your hard drive, your external hard drive, your router, so you can share all your documents, your files, you can even stream media to all your devices in your house just by plugging your external hard drive to your modem or router. Okay, so stay tuned. So what we're doing today is we're connecting the external hard drive I'm going to connect my external hard drive to my ISP router. It's a router modem there. Now they're doing it both combined. So it could be a modem, it could be a router. But at the same time, I think uh, nowadays, modems and routers, they are combined. So they're doing uh, both, uh, they have both features on the same gadget. So today I'm going to show you how to connect it. It's pretty simple. So you can stream all your videos or your music. You can also um, share files, documents directly from your hard drive to all your devices across your house on your home network. It's pretty simple. So you only, the only thing you need to do is to plug your external hard drive directly into your modem or router and then you'll be able to share all your documents and files like I said so let's go ahead and connect this one okay okay so it's pretty simple the only thing you have to do is plug this is my modem my router it's actually both doing it's a modem now it's uh, technology is really advanced so these machines they do you know, like, like can see, you can see over here they have ports for uh, void uh, voice over IP uh, TV um, Ethernet connections uh, over here you have the mo uh, voice over IP Ethernet ports and TV they do everything TV optical it's uh, those machines are very very advanced so now the advantage of this is now that you have two uh, in my case I have two USB ports right here so that will allow me to connect my external hard drive and then I'll be able to see it across all my network with all my devices so whenever I need a picture a document whatever I need even I can stream movies it's uh, it's gonna be pretty easy and I'll show you it's pretty simple the only thing you need to do is connect it right here two ports I selected one of the ports and I basically just plugged the um, my external hard drive in my case I have four gigabyte um, that I purchased and it's a lot of space uh, sorry four terabyte four thousand gigabytes so I have a lot of sp uh, space and um, it's a pretty good uh, uh, external hard drive that I have enough space to put all my documents files and also it's pretty simple you just plug it on one of the USB port or directly on your modem a router and then we're going to go to my one of my machines and you'll see how easy it's to connect all right okay so now I plugged my my passport It's called passport that's the name uh, it was given which is my external hard drive and it's connected directly into my modem or router uh, as a USB on one of the USB port like you saw on the video mine had two USB ports so I can even plug uh, another USB Tom drive or I can even put another external hard drive if I want to add more space in my case that was a four terabyte like I said which is plenty of space um, but in case uh, because I'm doing a lot of videos so I might run out of it in a while so I might need to put a second one in any case here, I'm going to show you exactly how what to do next 
once you have it plugged on your modem or router so the next thing you will uh, you want to do it's pretty simple i'm running windows 10 because i'm i'm on my dell inspiron 15 inch the 5000 series if you want to check out my video uh, where I review this laptop, you're going to see this is a great laptop. It's a AMD um, A12 7th generation, but I'm not going to get into details. It's, I'm not do, it's not about the review. You can watch my video uh, on the review of this laptop. So let, let's go ahead and um, show you exactly how to access your network once you have it. So just open over here the folder right there at the bottom. And uh, where, what you want to do is you want to go and um, let me see over here. Okay, so what you want to do, the first thing you want to do is you want to open the folder at the bottom right here. And then you want to go at the bar, at the bar here, the search bar. Where you see here in my case, it went directly where it says network. So you want to clear that. Okay. I'm going to zoom it a little bit so you can see it. Uh, and then you want to do slash slash my network. Then you select this one. Hey, here we go. This is my passport. As you can see. All right. So what you want to do? This is it's called my passport. You, your is gonna be any name you want. Uh, I just left the default name of the uh, external hard drive. So you can put whatever name you have, or it might say something else if it's a Kingston USB keys. It, drive or any other drive that's the name you're gonna see here okay so here I'm gonna click on it there you go all my files are right here I have my folder two terabyte this is from another external hard drive that I that I have which I backed it up with this uh, this is my old Dell gaming 5000 some some of my files that I backed up as well. This is another laptop I had, a Lenovo T60 that I use it mainly for uh, other purposes. Uh, so yeah, so this is how you access. So here you go. It's very it's pretty simple. So if you have a network set up where you share uh, in your home group or work group. Uh, your different devices like your desktop, your laptop and all, you can share it. You can share not only a printer, but you can also share as, as uh, I just showed you. Uh, you can share your external hard drive so you can have access to all your documents, your files and all. Pretty easy. Alright, so I hope this tutorial was helpful. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and also um, check my other videos uh, check if you want the review of at the bottom once again right here on this folder right here I'm gonna do it click it on on it and I will bring the address here to file explorer so now we're gonna type it again it's backslash backslash my network
address here. Okay, right click. So how do I do that? Put your mouse there. Right click the mouse and then copy the address. Click on your desktop anywhere on an empty spot on your desktop. address to create the shortcut so that's all we need what item would you like to create a shortcut for so this is the location where our uh, passport the external hard drive is so we want to click on next and then what would you like to name the shortcut so what's the name you want you can leave it you can leave it the way you want you can leave it as default my network you can put whatever you want in my case uh, i just want to make sure that i don't forget what it is so i'm just gonna put external hard drive so i will know that this is my external hard drive and um, maybe i can put here router so i'll know this is my external hard drive on the router and I can click on finish and here we go you have right here okay your shortcut of your external hard drive so if I click on it there we go this is my passport Remember my external hard drive that I plugged to my router is right here. So I click on it. All my documents are right here. I just created a new folder for my videos, videos 2017. So this is where all my new videos are going to be stored. And I don't need to worry. Everything is shared across all my devices. So like I said, I can create a new folder uh, and name it example movies I will name it movies so whenever I'm gonna have a movie I'll put it over here and I can stream the movie uh, anywhere on any of my devices even I can plug this laptop directly to my TV and I'll be able to watch uh, movies okay so this is the way you do it uh, if you like this video, subscribe, share with your friends. And uh, if you want to see my setup of exactly what I'm using, uh, I'm recording this with a HyperX headset. I have a review on my channel about this. This is great. If you like the quality of this microphone. Uh, if you also like my um, desk, I mean my laptop, sorry. This is a Dell laptop and Spiron 15 inch, the 5000 series. So uh, this one also I have a review for it. If you want to know the details, the specs and all that, check it out. Uh, it's all on my description below. All right. So have yourself a good day and we'll see each other later on. Bye bye now.